Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We've got a new Calico Critters Sylvanian family set to open up and set up and play with today. This is the very, very sweet boutique for Sylvania and for uh, Cloverleaf Corners. They are going to have their own fancy boutique. It's very exciting. So let's open it up and we'll see what's inside. The awesome thing about a lot of these new sets is they're actually coming with a critter, with a figure, which is really cool. This one comes with one single one. We'll have a look in a moment though, because we've got it open. Here is the boutique building itself. You can even see on the door handle, it's a little jewel. Look at that. Oh, and there are all these little glass benches and even the windows have got uh, little intricate designs on them. The glass windows as well, which of course are plastic. I'm saying glass because you can see through them and they're actually, you know, they're plastic. This is a kid's toy. You wouldn't put glass on a kid's toy. So there's all this little uh, detailing around the windows, which looks really sweet. But let's check out our critter. It is Cecilia Persian Cat. And she has got on the prettiest dress I have seen so far on a calico critter. Do you agree with me? It is really gorgeous with satin ribbon on the bottom. And she's got the lovely look at her fluffy head. Oh, it's got a lovely little jewel around her neck. And like all of the dresses, it's a similar design to all the dresses we've already seen. But look at her tail! Look at her fluffy, beautiful, cute, gorgeous tail. Look at how white she is. And her fluff doesn't, her, her, her head is really, really fluffy, but the rest of her body's just got the same, uh, the same flocking on it that all the rest of them do have. But she's so white, how long do you think I'll be able to keep her clean for? This beautiful snowy white, I'm gonna have to be so careful with her, I think. Oh, all right, let's put your dress back on because you look just stunning in it. It's just gorgeous. All right, so the set comes with a figure, which is really, really great. Let's see what else is in here. There are so many little bits and pieces, but we might start with the big ones. How about the big pieces of furniture first? So we've got here, oh, look, there's some bling on the side, some sparkly. I do like some sparkly. This is gonna be the sign for the boutique and it's gonna need a sticker. So we'll put that over here. And here is a big presentation-y sort of table. Lots of little details on this. I think we're gonna need some more for this. So we will move it uh, over here. And we'll have a look at what this pink thing is. Look at this, it's a mannequin. So we can put our display dress, which this set actually comes with an extra display dress, which is really nice. We can display that up in the front window for all the little critters who are wandering past to buy. And we've got a display shelf as well. The middle shelf there is slanted, so we'll see how we're gonna utilize that. That'll be cool. All right, and a very shiny, shiny top for, oh, for the display table. Oh wow, look at that. That must be where we keep all the precious things in the boutique, all the jewels maybe. We are gonna have to see. All right, there is also a mirror with a, a an actual real, very real mirror in here. This one is made out of uh, glass, so you're gonna have to be careful with this, but the good news is it's going to stick up on the wall, so it should stay nice and safe. So there, look at that, the best reflection ever. And oh yeah, the Persian cat looks so gorgeous in there. What else have we got? All right, it is handbag arama in here in the boutique. There's this absolutely gorgeous one that looks like it's been faceted with a silver handle and a bow on the top. And there's a littler version in a lighter pink. There are a lot of mother-daughter type gifts in this shop. So these two might be for mother and daughter idea. The one's big and one's little. This is a nice one. Look at this, it's like a quilted silvery one. It's very shiny with a big blue gem in the middle of it. I don't know how the critters are gonna be able to choose their favorite handbag. Oh, and a little wicker one. That's a sweet one. That'll be nice for when they go to the beach or off to the market. It's a little one though. And this one is also a nice sized one which you could use, well, for just about anything. That would work for most stuff. You can use it as a handbag or you can use it as a beach bag. And also, oh, here we go. Here's another, a bigger wicker bag. So that one matchy matches with the little one too, look. Look at that, another mother-daughter choice. Very nice. They can have matching handbags just in a different color, matching beach bags. And yet another handbag with a big bow on the front. This is just the right size for an adult critter. And more sparkles, lots of sparkles in this set. And this one looks like it might be, you know, something very, very fancy. 
That one looks like a designer handbag. But this one's really sweet. It's, it's a dove or some sort of bird. What sort of bird do you think this is? That's a lovely one. And it actually rocks. Look at that. <laughs> it could double as a little rocking bag for the babies. <laughs> you will have to try it out. Okay, so I think that's all the handbags. Now we've got a little slanty display piece. We'll see what we're going to do with that soon. And some shoes. Look at these. They've got a teeny tiny heel on them. Let's see. They're pretty big. Let's see if they fit on the on the mummy Persian cat here. They're even too big for the mummy Persian cat. I wonder if they fit on them on the <laughs> on the boy's feet. Yeah, they're a bit big. Okay, but so that's all right. I suppose she could probably clomp around in them. And there's also a second pair of shoes, which are a bit smaller. They've got lovely yellow flowers on the front. They're also see-through. They're pretty. Let's see if these ones fit. Now these ones do fit quite snugly. Maybe the other ones are a bit bigger for an adult and these ones are good for the, for the big girls uh, because it means that they won't rub the flocking off because the flocking will rub off with, with continuous putting on and off of those sort of things. So you want nice soft things to go on and here's something nice and soft. It's a necklace made out of very, very soft stretchy plastic there so it can go on and off very easily without rubbing on the flocking of the little critters. That's very fancy. We could wear it as a necklace or as a headdress or as a tiara. Oh, wow. That one is, that one's got lots of uses. That's very nice. And a little version, a little one, once again for mother daughter. So you can see that that one's quite significantly smaller. So we're going to have to get a girl out and we'll try it out. It's too big for you though. It does still, it still, it does still work, it does still fit. Makes a good tiara. Oh, this is going to be fun. These accessories are going to be so good. The critters are going to love them. And some headbands. Now, these headbands are definitely way too small for the adult critters. So they are for the big girls or for the babies even. We are going to have to check all these out. Oh, there is another handbag, a little clutch. And that's a sweet one. That's a nice one for evening wear, I think. She can tuck it under her arm or she can pull it over her wrist. We'll put it over here with the shoes. <laughs> okay, now these are cute. That's a little butterfly. It could be, uh, we could use it as a bangle. That looks sweet. These are definitely for the kids. Or we could use it for oh, a little hair accessory. That looks really sweet. What else have we got? We've got a couple more of these. We've got uh, one with a star, a little shooting star. Definitely for the kids. I don't think it goes with the mummy Persian cat's level of sophistication, really. And this one's a little blue one, a little bumpy blue one. That's got a little flowery sort of thing on it. That one's sweet too. So we can use it for either option because it's a nice stretchy plastic. Okay, there are also these things that are also quite hard to get off. Hold on. They're definitely headbands. But they're on, once again, this stretchy, squishy plastic rather than the firmer plastic we've seen in the past, which is fine because we want it to be squishy. It keeps the critters flocking safe. This one's way too small for you. This one's for the big girls. But look at the sparkle on the, on the side. That one's a nice one with the crown. And I reckon I'm going to snip these other ones off because I've already bent one of them almost out of shape. So there's a very nice see-through pink headband. No, way too, way too small. And here's one with, oh, with the little roses on the side. That's the one I slightly misshapen by pulling on it. So don't pull on those ones, snip them out. We've also got a whole heap of things in this bag. So let's see. Here are our soft furnishings. A lovely piece of shiny red material. Oh, this is the inside for the display case for our fancy display case. Let's put this in here. So this is where all the precious, precious things go in. All the jewels, they're going to look fantastic displayed on there. That's lovely. Now the other soft thing is an extra dress. This one is a girl size dress and it is a fabulous party dress. That's so pretty with the lace on the bottom. All of the critters are going to want this one for their special dances or for the parties. Wow, that one's going to be a big seller, I think. What do you think? I think Cecilia says, yes, it is going to be very popular. We've also got some boxes that we need to make. I'm thrilled that these boxes are made out of cardboard and not out of paper like some of the ones in the past have been. 
let's see how my box making skills stand up today. So this is going to be a lovely yellow gift box or a presentation box. So we'll turn all the tabs in and there, one box complete. There are three of them. So let's see what else we got. There's a little blue one with a pink ribbon. If we just bend all of these places where it's creased inwards, we get there in the end and the little tab pokes in. That's nice. There's another little box and one nice ginormous box for those big, big special purchases. There we are, three fabulous presentation boxes. And now we've got a whole sheet of stickers. <laughs> All right, I have to get these on straight. This is nice, they have got numbers on them. So you can have a look at the instructions on the actual tabs of the box that everything comes in and it tells you where specific stickers are supposed to go. Okay, let's get started with the stickers. We've got some little black bows with some pink sparkly bits in the middle. Well, they don't sparkle actually, but that's what they look like. They've got little gems in the middle and they go on either side of the display case here. They're little, I have to be careful not to tear them. There we are. The display case is looking really very nice. And one at the top here of the display stand. And there's one more on the sheet. I'll have to have a look for where that goes, but we do have a nice big sticker with the boutique sign on it. So I'm, oh, that is not straight. Hold on, I'm gonna do this again. Oh, there we go, now it's straight. That looks really great. So let's install the boutique sign. We'll move everything out of the way because we've got more stickers to put on the actual, the shop here. So this just sits on the top, slots in. You can turn it around to face inwards or outwards, depending which way you're playing with the boutique. And now we've got some trim to put on. Lots of pink stickers here to really pretty up the outside of the boutique. So we'll put all of those on. Oh, this one's good. Fashionable accessories. That one's over the door. So that's the front done. Now we need to match up the sides. I'm very pleased that these are numbered because they're all slightly different sizes. So you need to pay attention to the instructions on the box as to which sticker goes where for these. Their stickiness is excellent. I'm really thrilled by that. They're gonna stick on really well and stay there, I think. And one more to go. And then our trim will be complete. Very, very spiffy. Now we've got a sign on the outside with all of the new arrivals out here, a bit of advertising for passers-by to see what's happening inside. And now, well, this is gonna be tricky getting in here. This is where our last little black bow goes. And on the top of here, we need to put a big yellow display sticker. This is hard to get on straight in this corner, but I did it, I did it, that's excellent. So it looks really nice from the outside and from the inside. Right, let's set up shop. We've got the mirror, we've got the display stand, we've got some shoes on the display stand. Big ones and little ones next to each other so you can find the right size for your feet. And some headbands on our tilted up uh, shelf there, that's a really good idea. And on the top shelf, maybe all the little bracelets or hair accessories, depending upon what you think they are. It's up to you how you're playing with them. And in the front display window here, maybe a box, I don't know which way to display this. And one of the handbags, how does that look from the outside? Oh, I don't know, do we need to make it look enticing from the outside or the inside? It's so hard to decide. We can turn them around, there we go. Some more boxes there. The big dress mannequin up, pride of place in the window. And of course, these fabulous sparkly handbags where everyone can see them. Lots and lots of display windows here, so you will really be able to see inside the shop to see what's for sale and what's new and exciting in the boutique this week. Hey, that rhymes, boutique this week. All right, all the handbags are done. Let's do the jewelry display in the middle. So we put our 
display standy bit there with the headband, the sparkly headband and the necklaces are on. What do you think, Cecilia? Is it ready? Have we set it up appropriately? Does it look good? Is everything like set up well so that the customers will really want to buy things? And they'll be really excited to come in. Yep, okay, yep. Yeah. Are you happy with the inside? Go and check from the outside. You know, we could really turn some of those handbags around so that they display nicely from the, the outside as well. But it looks okay, it looks bright and colorful. I think we might be able to entice some customers in. So what family shall we open to be the first customers in the boutique? Yes, it's gonna be the red panda family. The big sister panda has got a dance that she needs a beautiful new dress for. So she's gonna to have to come in here and see what might be just right for her. But we are going to have to wait for the next video for that because we have run out of time. Please don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos and I will be back with our new panda family and some very silly play very soon. Mm -hmm.